What is up, people of the internet? My name is Freelancer Ember, and welcome back to another Death Battle reaction video. This is gonna be Battle of the, I guess, Gods? I guess, in a sense, or myth, or mythological people, whatever. Uh, Hercules versus Sun Wukong. So before we begin, please, 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 please watch the original Death, death Battle <laughs> on either the Rooster Teeth website um, or the Death Battle YouTube channel. I just messed up my own app intro. Uh, before coming to my reaction or anybody else's reactions, go support the team that's been, that's been making this series awesome. Uh, so, so like I said, Battle of the Gods, I guess. Um, but as I come to find out that Hercules is actually the Greek name and the actual name is Heracles. My whole life's been a lie. Uh, but anyway. So, apparently when I saw the thumbnail, they apparently used the rock Hercules to do it. But you know what? I'm okay with it. But you know what? Enough of this tangent. I don't know what else- I don't know what else to say here. Uh, it's just a little bit of a funny moment. So, let's just get this started. Uh, Heracles fights the Monkey King. Yeah. So, I got nothing else to say. Let it begin in three, two, one. Go. Wow. Hercules, the god of strength. Yep. Sun Wukong, the monkey king. Myth has many heroes, That's Sun Wukong from Ruby. From their past to become legendary and maybe inspire some comics and anime to boot. I mean, where's an arm boomstick? And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor and skills to find out who would How's win this gonna work? a death battle. Okay, it's still um Pixel animated. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, the rock! Hercules! Woo! Stories of Hercules exist in many iterations, but we'll examine the earliest known accounts the legend of Heracles. No Disney zero to hero, nope. just the classic Greek myth. And like yep. most ancient Greek stories, it began with Zeus being a total creep. The god of thunder did his. Thing with a princess by hey. disguising himself as her husband. Oh, what the hell, man! And thus a demigod was born, who was named Alcaeus. But Hera was pretty pissed Zeus had cheated Alcides? on her yet again. What? So Alcaeus's human parents renamed him in her honor. Yep, Heracles What's that means one? glory to Hera. Too bad she had already made up her mind though, and that kid was gonna pay. The child would need some way to survive Hera's wrath. All so the fifty-one the children. The heroes carried out a plan that was frankly insane. Athena tricked Hera into nursing the baby Heracles, and her milk gave him supernatural strength unbound, even beyond many of the gods themselves. Bruh. So strong that he hurt her and caused her to spray milk all over the place like a boob sprinkler, which in turn created the galaxy. Yep, that's why we call it the Milky Way. Oh god, I'm never eating one of those candy bars again. I never even eaten those. With like power, Heracles became a fierce warrior trained by the finest instructors in all of Greece. Unfortunately, he wasn't without problems. While he was a natural at boxing, wrestling, fencing, and so much more, fencing. he struggled in the arts. He even had a fit and accidentally killed his music teacher. Little did Heracles know this was a sign of the tragedy to come. Many years later, as his name began to be synonymous with the term hero, he murdered his wife, Princess Megara, and their sons. Yeah, Hera had magically driven him into a kill frenzy rage. But that didn't excuse it for Herc. His guilt was there. Desperate to atone, he sought guidance from the Oracle of Delphi and learned his path to redemption. Hmm. He would submit himself to King Eurystheus and perform for him ten grueling labors. The guy was a D-bag, but Herc did what he had to and through his struggles built a killer arsenal. For his first labor, he was tasked with slaying a lion whose hide could not be pierced by any blade. So Herc just beat the lion to death with his bare hands and took the the belt as armor for himself. He defeated a flock of metal man-eating birds with Cortalas so loud no living thing could bear the noise. What? He battled a multi-headed hydra, cauterizing its necks after each decapitation so the heads would not grow back. A lot of I mean, stuff the Disney Hercules was, and and it was and any indication? Is extra poisonous. Even gods fear it. So Herc dipped his arrows in the stuff for later use. Like when he used them to take out centaurs, titans, and even the sun. As really? Sort of. The huh. details of the smith differ. But in some okay. versions, Heracles was so fed up with the desert heat, he fired an arrow at the sun. The physical embodiment of the god Helios. Huh. I guess that's one way to cool off. 
Take that, global warming! To reach the sun, <laughs> his arrow would have to fly 90 times faster than light. The maximum draw weight of a typical recurve bow is about 40 pounds, shooting an arrow 300 feet per second. Shooting one faster than light would require strength incomprehensible to mortal size. I don't know. Anyway, Hercules, Heracles might have labors, might the have king a shot. Was a sore loser and axed two of them for cheating. Because Herc was a lot more clever than he expected. Heracles received two more tasks, one of which required he retrieve the golden apples of Hesperides, which, mm. ironically, originally belonged to Hera. As part of his plan, Heracles would temporarily take on the role of the Titan Atlas as bearer of the heavens. Mm. That sounds exhausting. More than you think, dummy. While modern art often portrays Atlas carrying a globe, the Greeks perceived his burden as a celestial sphere. Mm. This would mean Heracles supported the weight of not just the Earth, but the whole universe. I mean, I, I'm holding up this entire show. The common view <laughs> of the time was that the universe was endless. Even chaos, the primordial origin of everything, I don't was know. boundless. Meaning, Heracles held up the weight of conceptual infinity. Luckily, Woo! Herc's got one hell of a drive to persevere and to make amends. Like when he met that King Chuck Amina, Norris, Hercules? he got to party it up and I'm was too things. drunk to realize the king was in a really bad state because his wife had just died. Reminds me of someone. Can't imagine who. Well, he <laughs> felt bad, so he decided to make it up to his bro by literally beating up the god of death until he returned and meets his wife. And that's true best friend material. Whiz. Heracles frequently surprised others with his wit, particularly with finding solutions hidden in plain sight. Hmm. For example, when he wrestled Antaeus, a giant who was invincible so long as his feet were on the ground, Heracles simply picked him up and <laughs> strangled him in the air. Even giants <laughs> and the god of death couldn't end his story. Instead, he was tricked into putting on a shirt covered in that hydra blood, and it totally screwed him up. What a BS way to go. Yet yeah, also a testament to how a contest of power could not defeat him. Racked with unbearable pain and burning at a pyre, Heracles called to the deities who had watched his story unfold. And mm. so, as his mortal form returned to ash, Heracles ascended to Mount Olympus. Where he was welcomed as the god of strength. Even Hera lightened up. His life may have been one of strife <laughs> and Friggin struggle. Smite. But on that day, all the world was left in awe of the legend of Heracles. Okay, I don't know. Heracles might have a chance with this one. I mean, freaking lifting up the entire universe. I don't know. And just a quick gist for Sun Wukong. I think he's just like had good agility and such, but I don't I don't know like the entire basis when it comes to Sun Wukong. Not Ruby, the actual myth. Chinese myth, Sun Wukong. There once was a mighty monkey warrior. I actually want them to put in Ruby Sun Wukong in this. Because they, they literally share the same name. Unless they, it's like how spelt differently somehow, whatever. Born of a mystic stone from the energy of the sun and moon. Upon birth, he graciously bowed to the cardinal directions and shot lasers from his eyes. Strap in, folks, this one's a what? doozy. This monkey soon befriended a band of other primates and rather narcissistically named himself their handsome monkey king. Mm -hmm. But after a few centuries of monkeying about, he got a taste of the dreaded midlife crisis. <laughs> you see, the monkey king was fierce and brave, yet he feared death. So he ventured to new lands in search of immortality. Turns out he'd find a lot of it. Training under the Taoist master Puti, he earned his first method of immortality and a new name. He would be the monkey awakened to the void, spoken as Sun Wukong. Hey. He also learned a bunch of magic. He can ride clouds, make thousands of clones, heal from okay. pale wounds like decapitation, okay. and transform into basically anything. A bird, Never mind. a vapor, a pitchfork, even an incredible fighting temple. With his famous what? cloud somersault, he could traverse the world at incredibly high speed. At first, a single somersault could carry him 108,000 li. Li being a traditional Chinese unit equal to about 500 meters, mm. making one somersault move 54,000 kilometers per second. Fast enough to circle the entire Earth in one leap. And he'd only get faster from there. Monkey would do whatever it took to prove he was the best of the best. When fighting the mighty deity Prince Nocha, his foe transformed into a more powerful visage with three heads and six arms. But Sun was I'm like, I'm probably gonna hey, lose I this one. That too, and 
then did just that. Sun Wukong eventually returned to his simian subjects and with his newfound power, amassed a veritable army. However, he felt no weapon in their arsenal suited him. So he barged into the Dragon King's palace and demanded he hand over a weapon worthy of a king who could match the power of heaven. Yeah, Sun was pretty full of himself, but oh, yeah. he wound up taking a pillar originally designed to measure the depths of the ocean. What seemed like a worthless rod to the Dragon King was actually the perfect weapon for Wukong. Weighing nearly eight tons, the Rui Jingu Bang can change size at his will. Hey, Rui Jingu Bang! the size of a needle or... That's kind of like, uh, like, uh, inspiration for Sun... Ruby, Sun's Ru... Uh, Sun. Ryu Bang and Jingu Bang. That, that's pretty cool. Sleep? Sleep insects? What is... Oh, can you sleep with victims? Oh, okay, then. A uh, golden headband? Yeah. If, I remember some of these, of Sun Wukong myths. Like, uh, I think he had to travel with, I think with a pig man? And I don't remember who else. And I think he, he was supposed to, like, escort someone, escort someone. And the person that they were escorting has power of this golden headband that Sun has. And whatever Sun is out of line, uh, the guy would, like, tighten like tighten the headband until uh sun's like straightens out uh cloud stepping shoes okay you know what i i'm gonna call it right now i'm probably gonna lose this one i'm probably gonna lose this one grow long enough to pierce the heavens the same heavens that got pretty mad with sun after he crossed his name out of the ledger of death making himself double immortal wait how does that work and even more what? mad when he demanded to be formally acknowledged as the great sage equal to heaven okay we've got a headstrong goofball who quickly masters new powers and wants a fancy title this is just shown in anime yeah now, the monkey king may have lashed out but it was because when he requested a place in heaven a place he truly believed he deserved, the Jade Emperor's court reduced him to a stable boy. Beneath Oof. all his antics, what Sun wanted most was to prove himself. Even with all the shenanigans, the Jade Emperor remained cautious and willing to placate Wukong. By making him the watchdog of the Garden of Immortal Peaches. He totally ate that shit, didn't he, Wiz? Oh yeah, Wukong uh. got hammered, ate most of the peaches, ran around the Jade Palace in a fit, and found five gourds of immortality pills, which he promptly swallowed. All of them. Okay, so Bruh. that makes... How many layers of immortality now? I'd say a few hundred, thousand. Bruh. Count each individual peach and pill. When he sobered up, he knew he was in serious trouble. So naturally, he prepared for war. Wow, that escalated quickly. Wow. <laughs> do kill him. So the Monkey King proved too strong for heaven. He battled all their best fighters and even matched Erlong Shen blow for blow in an epic battle of transformations. He's that guy with the third eye. And heaven's greatest uh, holy fish? warrior. Yet no matter Erlong's form, Wukong always had a counter. Until Lao Zi threw in a there it is. plot MacGuffin that captured Plot MacGuffin. Monkey. But even with Wukong in chains, heaven had a problem. He just wouldn't die. Lightning, fire, even Lao Zi's de-immortalizing furnace just made the monkey stronger. Now, Wukong is not invincible. He oh. has been hurt by the scorpion demoness's poison, okay. which could even harm the Buddha, an awakened divine being liberated from the cycle of life and death entirely. Now tell me, how painful is that? <laughs> Pain is all in the mind, and I... <laughs> Am absent of mind. Oh God! Oh no! I was wrong. It's bad. It's really, really, really bad. Oh God! Make it stop! My God! Uh, Why would you spray that into his eyes? That, Sun had one more challenger to contend with: the Buddha himself. Uh. Buddha approached Wukong with a contest, leap out of his hand, and he could have the Jade Emperor's throne for himself. Having no huh. impulse control, the monkey agreed, and in an instant, somersaulted to the very edge of heaven. But he had already lost. Because Buddha achieved nirvana, he transcended the world, literally holding all of existence. Mm. So even at the edge of the universe, Wukong technically never left his oh. hand. His loophole. Loophole. I get it. <laughs> uh, get good, man. Rebellion. Sun was put in timeout. Sealed under a mountain for 500 years. But even Sun Wukong would find a chance at redemption. In his case, he was tasked with escorting and protecting a monk, Tan Sung Zong, or oh. Tripitaka, on a journey to the west. Yeah. With additional companions, Pigsy and Sandy, the trip oh. was a tough one, and Monkey abandoned it more than once. But through it all, he always returned to shine as the group's powerhouse, saving Trippy Taka's life many, many times. 
Seriously, this guy could not stay out of trouble. It's like whiz at a blind date. Ahem. <clears throat> Wukong has cracked apart mountains, slayed hundreds of monsters, and survived the yellow wind demon storm that could destroy the universe. As in heaven. heaven. Earth, the 18 layers of hell, and more. That's mm. cool and all, Wiz, but let's answer the real question. Can he beat Goku? <laughs> uh, maybe. During his journey, Wukong performed possibly his most legendary feat, holding up Mount Sumeru, mm -hmm. which in traditional Mahayana Buddhism is a mountain supporting the infinite cosmic sky. And Sun just hauled it around on one shoulder. Just one, because on his other shoulder was a whole other mountain. After 14 years of travel, the journey 14 was years? And Wukong had finally accomplished a truly great deed. For this, he was given his long-awaited place among the heavens. As the victorious fighting Buddha. Now that's got to be an anime. After so much time as a rebel, an outcast, and a truly unstoppable warrior, Sun Wukong had, at last, found his home. I don't know. I might lose this one. I'm calling it right now. Um, uh, history was never my best subject. Uh, I don't know. I might have to go with Sun on this one. Sun Wukong on this one. I mean, this is like the first time that Death Battle is actually using actual mythical people. Because mythical people for their death battle. I just don't, I just don't know, um... Uh, or Hercules, maybe Hercules? Uh... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Ow! Ow! Oh, I slammed my hand against my desk! Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, that sucked. Ah, oh, don't ask me how I did that. Um, but okay. I need to decide right now. I need to decide right now. I can't drag this on too long. So, uh, first thing to come to my mind, that's what I'm picking. Uh, three, two, one, Sun Wukong! Okay, we're gonna go Sun Wukong, Sun Wukong. Again, I'm calling it right now. I'm probably gonna lose this. So, we're gonna go with Sun Wukong. And three, two, one. Go. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's, it's time, time for a death, death battle! battle! All right. Our tale begins atop a great mountain where the mighty Heracles sought a gift from the gods. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, there. Huh? I'm in need of that apple. Relinquish it. Sorry, I'm supposed to find my master some vegetarian food. You'll find it elsewhere. Bruh. <sighs> but Heracles was not so easily fooled. <laughs> Did you just pull out of your ear, you nasty? Are you- are they doing an actual narration? Fight. Are they actually doing an, a narration? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot that like Heracles has like the ability to shoot arrows straight at the sun. Freaking Shadow Clone Jutsu right there. I, yes, I know, I know, technically he did it first. I've, I've been running too many times about the whole Popeye and mon Die, monkey demon. Luffy thing. Agony. Agony. Bruh, you're being dramatic. <laughs> The Monkey King fell into a strange forest, in awe at such a wondrous fight. But should he mistake his fear, he might lose his head. You survived decapitation. I haven't had such fun since I fought all of heaven. Chain, behold me, the immortal Monkey King. <laughs> Multiple heads, of course. <laughs> like high dressed up. <laughs> Oh, hi. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose this one. You've had your fun, beast, but I've had enough. I'm probably gonna lose this. In heavens above, the gods witnessed their earthbound selves, and so joined in that. Did they just ascend? The god of strength mustered the heart of Olympus, while the great sage harnessed power equal to heaven. I swear, this ends up as a tie. The monkey king emerged victorious. No, really? Really? Wow, would you look at that? I struck him so hard he was reduced to nothingness. Really? <laughs> With a formidable foe slain, stricken against the mountain's breast, so ends our great tale of East and West. about a Herculean magic. Oh my Heracles god! was among the greatest heroes in myth, but the great sage equal to heaven held many more advantages. You'd think son might not measure up to the god of strength, you know, strength. Yeah. But he totally could. Remember, he carried Sumeru on his back, the mountain holding up the infinite celestial sky, like how Heracles held up the infinite celestial sphere. As befitting heroes of myth, they were on par in that they were both incomprehensibly strong. However, Wukong's healing abilities meant he could bounce back from Heracles' deadliest blows, yeah. whereas Heracles did not have a similar option. Uh. But Heracles did have one way of putting the Monkey King down. His arrows dipped in Hydra Poison. The Hydra Poison threatened even the gods of Olympus, similar to the Scorpion Sting. Whether or not it would be fatal is questionable, but it could have incapacitated Wukong, similar to how it affected Heracles himself. But that is one very specific win condition, and we're looking at this with every possible option in mind. With his variety of clones, transformations, and numerous other spells, Wukong's arsenal was far more versatile. Like, there was nothing stopping him from making thousands of clones of himself and just sitting back while they beat up Herc for him. Unsportsmanlike? Sure. In <laughs> yeah. character? Absolutely. Yeah. Even then, those arrows arrows would have to actually strike Wukong, which would be extremely difficult. Yes, in some depictions, Heracles could potentially shoot the son of Helios, yeah. his arrows flying 90 times the speed of light. But? However, in his contest with the Buddha, Wukong leapt to the edge of the universe in a single second. Mm. To do so, he had to be moving over 1.4 quintillion him. times faster than light, Woo! making him way faster than her could ever hope to be. Heracles held might of mythic proportions, but barring a lucky shot, Sun Wukong's versatile magic, similar strength, and absolutely absurd speed <laughs> overcame this foe, fitting for heaven's equal. When fighting Sun Wukong, Heracles mythed his chance. Yeah! The is the Monkey King, Sun oh my Wukong. Oh my god, I'm six for seven! Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see who comes next. And I am on a roll, baby. Let's keep the, let's keep this winning streak going. Badges, emos, live let's chats, see. Live streams, and way more. Boba Fett. Oh, Predator, yo. Uh, what is this? Battle of the Bounty Hunters? I'm assume I'm assuming so. I am assuming so. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is gonna... Oh, uh, uh, whatever, but... Let's go! Oh, I'm six for seven, guys. I am on a roll, baby. I am on a roll. Let's keep it going, my dudes. Woo! Anyway, anyway this is a good fight. I I just... Uh, I, not, I had no confidence in myself if I, if I was gonna, like, um, uh, win this. Oh my god, that was... Anyway, anyway, we're going to end things up right here. Oh, my God. I am on a roll, baby. I am on a roll. I, like, I'm doing pretty good in the in this season so far. I just I just lost to one, which is the Tanjiro versus Jonathan Joestar one. Uh, but anyway, we're going to end things off right here. So, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this death battle in the comment, comment section down below. If you liked the video and enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest reactions. And follow me on Twitter at Freelance Amber for pretty much the same thing or just random shit in general. So remember to stay awesome, be nice to animals, don't be dicks, keep moving forward, and I'll see you all in the next video! Yeah.